everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Now this is a very large burl. I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, I picked it up from a, uh, a turner that was retiring in a job lot. Uh, and I've been looking at it for ages. My wife stopped me uh, doing anything earlier in the year because she thought it looked a little bit like Father Christmas's beard. So I was banned from touching it, but now I've got permission. We can go ahead and cut this up. Now, I'm thinking about making a bowl from this area here. That seems to be the most uh, obvious part. We've got a quite a dip in here, which I think has got part of the bark inclusion. So if we turn it over, that dip is pretty much in that area. So I'm gonna get out my chainsaw and cut this pretty much across that line there. Get your pencil out. somewhere around there. So we've got a piece here that we can turn into a bowl. Uh, it's not going to be a natural edge, so I'm going to be putting the face plate on this side. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Right, let's get this cut first and see what we've got after that. Right, we've got a nice manageable piece cut off. That was where the dip was, so we've avoided that nicely. So I'm thinking a natural center is around there. So, that's about there. So I'll just quickly make a mark with my pen. Yeah, that's gonna be our center. Right, I'll get the face place screwed on and we shall start. You can see it's going to be out of balance at the start until we get this chunk taken back. So we'll uh, use tailstock support. Right, I'm going to go and sharpen up and uh, we'll get started. dust masks on because uh, the dust cover coming off this is actually quite it's quite horrible right but he's coming down no actual proper cuts more like scrapes at the moment but hopefully that will improve Turn with the extractor on for a little bit. We're hitting a bit of decent wood there, but I would like to have hit it a little bit sooner than this. This isn't the experience I was expecting, but we're going to keep on going. This area is getting, that's what we're looking for, this kind of nice hardwood. The rest is still really quite soft. Okay, carry on for a little bit more. 
I'm going to start shaping around here so I can get a foot on this. Just so we're ready to, to do that when the opportunity arises. Oh, God, I'm absolutely covered in this. Whatever it's called. Okay, we're getting this there. Well, we're getting somewhere anyway. Right, I think next step, hang on, take the mask off so you can hear me. I think the next step we can take with this piece is to douse it in shellac, just to try and film up some of the surface to make some final cuts a little bit easier. So I'm gonna give this a good blow out with my air hose. Actually, I might just quickly get this curve as, as nice as I can. And then I'll douse it in shellac and then we'll give it a good few hours to sit. Right, I think we are going to have to go a lot deeper onto this burl than we thought, but I'll give it a chance with a bit of shellac. Okay, that's a good saturation. I can live with dodgy bits of wood up here but I really need something solid here to create a tenon on. So well, let's see how this goes. I'll give that a good few hours to sit in and harden and then we'll come back. Okay, this has had a good five or six hours to set up. Uh, I'm gonna leave the tailstock out for now now I'm going to go back in with a bowl gouge and just see how bad this is. If we can get down to some wood like this, then that would be fantastic and go forward. If not, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with it. got the startings of some decent wood in there so looks like we've got about a quarter of an inch to clear around the sides hopefully we might be there let's have a go not the best, uh, the nicest bold turning experience of my life. Right, we're definitely making progress here. We've got a lot of, a uh, lot more stable wood in here. So I think we're going to be all right. These gaps and stuff, that's all part of the burls. They're all completely normal. That's all fine. It's these bits here that we're going to have had issues with. The, the soft bits of wood, the small bark inclusions. That's what's given us all the problems. So I think another couple of scrapes round and then uh, I think I'm gonna make an internal tenon on this. It's probably not the best idea in the world, but <clears throat> I think it'll work. I'll do a couple more scrapes and then we'll figure it out. Right, everything back on.
Okay, I've changed my mind. Right, I've changed my mind. I am going to put a small foot on here, a small tenon to grab hold, hold of, because I don't trust this wood enough to put an internal tenon on. Sorry, yeah, internal recess to expand the jaws and not crack on me. So I'll put a small tenon on the bottom, and then we can start sanding. Right, that was certainly an experience. I've blown out as much as I can out the uh, the holes in this. And now I'm just gonna put some shellac on here, give it another good soaking before we put a final bit of sanding on it and then turn it around. I'm using a paintbrush this time so I can make sure I can get right into the all the little marks and wormholes and burls and things like that. Looking at the colour of the wood, I'm thinking this is possibly elm. I don't think it's oak. From my experience anyway. If you've got a different opinion, please let me know in the comments below. Don't need to do you, but I will. Right, okay, we'll let that sit for a few more hours. I'll probably let it actually sit, I'll let it sit overnight before I uh, do any more to it. Okay, so the next morning. This is dried beautifully overnight. I'm starting to feel better about this now. We've uh, broken the back of it. So I'm gonna give this uh, a light cut back with a 600 grit paper. Uh, and then we're gonna go on with a bit of Yorkshire grit. Now this Yorkshire grit is going to get into these delves and stuff we've got. So at the end we're going to have to make sure we get them all cleaned out before we go into the next bit. Bills are fantastic, but all these little holes can cause an awful lot of problems. We have to be careful, very, very careful what kind of finishes we do and don't use. Just a size of propyl alcohol on the cloth, just wiping off any remainder of the Yorkshire grit. Now we should make up a finish for this. Okay, that's enough time to evaporate. So the finish I'm going to use is a mix of boiled linseed oil and shellac. And I'm just going to put it on with a cotton rag. I'm wearing gloves for this because it does get very messy. I'm not using a, a hard wax for this because the holes we've got will just completely fill up with that wax and it'll be quite hard to get rid of. So I'm just gonna let this sit on there for a couple of seconds and then I'll buff it in. Remembering when you're buffing it in, there's still quite a loose material on there, so either use a face mask or stand well to the side, or both. Right, that's that. Now we can turn this around. Okay, we're all set up to hollow out. Uh, we're using tailstock support because I'm not sure exactly how well this tenon is going to hold. Hopefully it'll be fine, but we will see. 
Uh, we start off with a bowl gouge, but I know that bowls are notoriously hard, so we may have to swap to something else, but we will see how we get on. Right, I'm going to start sanding. I like to wash the start as usual. And I'll bring you back when we're done. That went very, very well. I've given it a good blowout, so I'm going to put a sealer on this, a shellac sealer. When this has had a chance to dry, I'll go back in with our Yorkshire grit. Give this a, little, a few seconds to dry. And then we'll come back and put the Yorkshire grit on. Okay, that's had long enough to dry, so quickly over with a 600 grit, and then we'll go in <clears throat> with the Yorkshire grit. When I'm done this with this, I'll blow out all the excess and clean it off with isopropyl. And I'm finally on with the finish. Using the same finish as I did in the back, which is a uh, boiled linseed oil and shellac. We can buff this in. After the buffing of this in, we've just got to turn it round, take off the tenon, and then we can have a look at what we've done. Well, there we have it. Who would have thought that halfway through when we were kicking up more dust than the Sahara, that we'd end up with such a, a pretty bowl. Well, I'm fairly convinced this is Elm. Please tell me if you think it's something else. I am open to persuasion, but uh, I'm really absolutely overjoyed with the way this has come out. It's the first proper bowl uh, burr I've turned so to have something come out of it which looks as gorgeous as this is uh, is really quite pleasing anyway if you've enjoyed this uh, this video I would really appreciate if you left a, a thumbs up uh, and a like and subscribe etc uh, and if you leave a comment as well then you're going to be entered into the giveaway for a bowl when we get to our one year anniversary, which is on the 16th of March, just a few weeks away. But apart from that, thank you very much indeed for watching. Sorry, I'm a little bit stunned, but uh, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Right, anyway, thank you very much indeed for watching, and I'll see you next time.